Now, some people may tell me, hey, Kevin, living for God is very difficult. And let me say, what you are saying is true. Living, living for God is difficult. But let me say this. What if God was to open your eyes and allow you to see hell? Now, how difficult would it be to serve God then if he was to open your eyes and allow you to see hell? Would you struggle as much? How easy would it be to stop watching porn? How easy would it be to stop cursing and doing all of this other stuff? it would be much more easy, right? You see, you are just at the point where you are not tired of being cursed by God yet. And some people may say, what are you talking about, Kevin? God does not curse people. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read it. And you will see that God does curse people. When you are disobedient to God, expect a curse from him. But I receive messages from people telling me how difficult it is to serve God, <clears throat> how hard it is to do this and do that and do this and do that. I have no idea why people believe that it takes no effort to serve God. Some people believe that all they have to do is say God or say to God, "Hey God, I want to serve you," and God is going to snap his fingers and you are going to be perfect at serving him. It does not work that way. You will receive resistance you are. So if you believe that everything is going to come easy, it is not by far. Because even with myself, I fight with demonic thoughts and so much other things each day. It is a constant fight. So if it is a constant fight for me, and a constant fight for other people, why do you believe that <clears throat> you are going to have an easy time in serving God? It makes no sense. Well, Kevin, you know I have been trying and trying. Well, you need to try more. You need to fight more against the demons. Look, man. No matter how many times you command a demon to leave, they may leave, yes, but chances are they are going to come back. So you believe that telling them one time to leave you, you believe that they are never going to come back to you? Come on now. No. They are going to continue to fight against you until they can get you back into sin. So when you try to live for God for a day or two and say, well, this is not for me. We are in a spiritual war. We are at war. But you expect a war to be like I don't know what analogy I can use. <laughs> you expect a war to be playtime or something. I don't know. It is a constant... F Man, what you should do is find a person who actually serves God and they are going to tell you that it is a constant fight every single day. 
If it is not a constant fight for you, chances are you are not serving God. So when you try to serve God and you are having a difficult time at it, that should be a good sign is that, hey, because demons are not really going to mess with you like that if you are on their side. But if you are trying to change, they are going to be on your back, big time. I'm telling you. So really keep your mind on this. The resistance, I'm not saying to like want demons to attack you. Like if a demon does not attack you, don't be like, oh God, let a demon attack me. No. But when you receive resistance, that is a sign that you may be on the right track. Because demons are not going to mess with people that are in sin. Well, to a certain point, yes. But demons are really going to mess with people who serve God. For instance, when I was in sin, like the stuff that is happening to me now was not happening to me back then. No. Like, I could actually, like, I wasn't really having bad dreams or all of this crazy stuff that happens to me now. Why? Because back then, I was in sin and I was enjoying my sin but I found out that <laughs> it was really hurting me more than anything so really take heed to this please stop giving up like you try for a day to serve God and some demons come to you and put bad thoughts in your mind then you give up or you continue to do a certain type of sin, then you give up. Stop playing around. Get back on your feet and try again. <laughs> I'm telling you, stop giving up. It is a war, a spiritual war. Man, what if God was to open your eyes up and allow you to see all of these demons, all of these angels, and like the fights and stuff like that, you would really be surprised, big time. Everything or more things would make sense to you, right? So keep that in your mind. You are in a spiritual war. So wars are not easy. <laughs> Will Kevin, every time I try to pray, you know, I get this bad dream or this happens. Duh, it's supposed to happen because demons are attacking you. Will Kevin, every time I read, when I read the Bible, you know, I get real sleepy and blah, blah, blah. Duh. It's supposed to happen because demons are attacking you. And what you can do is fight back. Makes sense, right? God bless.